Uh, this is the second time I have found one of these Ninja Turtle dolls, and uh, two bucks, why not? You're going straight in the basket. Thank you very much. <laughs> Heading to Perth, Western Australia. It is raining and it's so wet, the roads are pretty bad. These three stores that I'm going to, it's only midday and it looks like it's nighttime and it's dark, but it's not. It's just a very dark, rainy day today. So these three stores that I'm going to, um, they're not the greatest. They're not the greatest, but to bring back the videos, to bring back thrifting on videos, we're gonna go to some stores where I never usually find anything, so we're hoping this time that we can find some goods. I've already backed my car into a pole and smashed the side of my car, but it was worth it because I was going to get a Pepsi from the shop. If it's for the Pepsi, it's all right. All right, let's go to these three stores, let's do this. All right, it's good to be back making videos, thrifting, but it's not good to find crap because we always find crap when we go to these thrift stores. Now take this GWS AFL jersey. This has been at this store for over a year and a half now. Why has it still been sitting here up on the top? Because they want $114 for it. It's not even player issued. It may be an Anzac Day jersey, but GWS, you're not getting $114 for this. Not at an op shop, not at the thrift world. We want to get bargains, leave it up there. No thank you, move on. Look at the dirty, look at the dirty state of this Queensland jersey here. That is disgusting. I don't even know what that is. That is just filthy and whoever put it on the shelf, you've got to be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. Bazing, I see this shirt every store I go to. Be look out for these Kmart or Big W Mambo shirts. That's definitely a uh, Kmart one or Big W. Uh, but there's a bazing. You see that everywhere you go. Uh, have you ever picked it up? If you have, you're, uh, you're not going to make any money because I think everyone's seen it or picked it up. I'm, I haven't picked it up. I don't want to pick it up. What else we got here? Oh, we got a knitted Western Bulldogs. Knitted Western Bulldogs uh, beanie. I think I'll leave this one here for uh, uh, $4, not bad, but it is knitted. I'm gonna leave that one. Uh, but this uh, Bulldogs beanie might uh, go bundle. I might bundle it up with a scarf when I find a uh, Bulldog scarf. How much do they want for this one? Uh, $4, mm, uh, a bit pricey for the dogs, but uh, yeah, fuck them. Get rid of it, out of it, go, get, out, get away. All right, what a, I do, hats are dirty. I don't like, I just don't like dealing with hats. But uh, shirts, look, I'll always look through the jumpers and shirts, but at this place, like, look at this ratty, absolute ratty, tap out shirt, and they want, they want $19. $19 for this tap out shirt, fuck off. No chance in hell. Well, what do you want for this Fox one? $25 for a, fo I'm not even gonna look up comps, that is just a joke. Uh, what do you want for this one? $78. Could have just made it 80 or whatever. I don't even know this brand. It looks leather, but rat. I'm not paying $78. What do they want? $48. I don't even know the brand. I'm look. I'm going straight past it. Fuck it. $28 for this one. They can get fucked. No way. What do we want here? What? $68. They could have just made it $70 or $65. Why are they making it $68? I don't understand. But we're moving on. We're moving on from there. Now uh, we got some videos here. Not bad. We got the bodyguard. Uh, $2! $2 for the bodyguard, no way, I'm not paying more than 50 cents for a dollar unless it's a horror movie. Uh, what have we got, children's sing-along favourites, eh, very tempting, uh, very tempting, but no, not at $2 today, um, I wouldn't have mind watching that one. Uh, DVDs, I love uh, personally going for the DVDs, uh, good old Desperate Housewives, I've sold a box set of Desperate Housewives before, but oh, $5, I'm not paying $5 for just a DVD season of that. No way, uh, maybe $10 for a whole full set series box set, but uh, no chance in hell. But if you get these for a buck each and put them all together, uh, lot them up and uh, $5 for charm, no way, uh, would be all right. Another five, no, no chance. Fuck you, charmed. We're not taking you. Uh, not charmed today, not charmed today. 
Uh, what have we got here? And we've got the vinyls. Look, the vinyls go okay, but unless you like Kamal or Oklahoma there, or uh, look at this crap. I don't even know. I don't even know half the crap that is in these vinyls when you look through them. The banjo party time. Uh, very tempting, uh, but my wife would probably divorce me if I put that on and started uh, dancing around the house. Um, look, only once or twice I've found a uh, absolute perler uh, in the record um, section, vinyl section. Uh, but it's hit and miss. It's hit and miss. You're definitely going to come across uh, the same old uh, vinyls that people throw out all the time. And you end up, by the end of it, you start to go, fuck it. Uh, look at this. Oh, nice Chiefs jersey there. Nice Chiefs jersey. How much do you want for that one? Uh, excellent. $15 for a nice faded tag. Oh, that's great. Peeling off as well. That's uh, that, that's delicious there. We're, uh, we might take that one home for sure. Uh, some of the stuff that they put on the shelves sometimes at the prices is just uh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you'll see here this is a fake, absolutely fake Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma Thunder jersey. You can just tell, do your research on your jerseys, basketball, footy, anything, but this is definitely a barley one. Look at that from India. <laughs> you wash that. All that uh, white stuff there uh, will come off and uh, go in your clothes in the washing machine because I've done it before. I've done it before. So, goes everywhere. Fluff everywhere. Look at these jeans. Uh, what the hell are these attached to the jeans? I don't understand. Are they like underpants already attached to the jeans? I, leave me in the comments what they are because I seriously don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Bit freaky, but uh, we move on to the CDs. Look at this DVD, The Walking Deceased. I should have brought this. I should have brought this and uh, watched it. It is an absolute knockoff of The Walking Dead and um, I, I should have brought it. What, what, a, what a bad move I did because look how bad this movie looks and it was only a dollar I think. I missed that, it was, I think it was a dollar. But uh, we, we go to the jeans, we have a little look at the jeans and see if we can uh, find anything. Billabong, always good, um, but uh, $19, I'm still not the greatest on jeans uh, for $19. So, you know, should I have taken those Billabong jeans? Uh, let me know if I should have taken those Billabong jeans, but I left them, did not bother with the jeans. Um, Collingwood, uh, medium Collingwood shirt. This is just like a training one. It's just a shirt. Uh, and nothing special. You're not going to get too much for that. Uh, and you probably will get $19 for it, what they're actually selling it for. So that can just hang there. This is a beautiful kitty shirt. What a beautiful kitty shirt. Going straight into my basket for $5. Uh, it's going to be a bit tight on me in medium, but uh, 5 bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, kitty. Uh, bring the kitty back. All right, we'll bring the kitty back because kitty's got money right there. Look at the kitty. So we'll, we'll definitely uh, put that one in the basket. And there's a Mario. That was a weird Mario one there. Uh, I left a few of those behind because I'm not a big fan of getting clothes. Manchester United t-shirt. This is just a Manchester United t-shirt. Don't know if you ever pick up uh, these yourself, but... Um, uh, $20. At least I made it an even number this time, but $20 for that, that's all you'll probably get reselling that shirt. Uh, so $2 would have been a lot better, so we'll leave that one on the shelf. Uh, NM. Never heard of this brand. If you've heard of this brand, uh, tell me in the uh, comments. Looks like those pants would be very itchy though. I would not like to wear them, but $25 they wanted for them. Uh, they still have the tags on them, but fuck them. They can stay there. They look itchy. Um, no, I'm not buying them. This Munster's book, this this went in the basket. This went in the basket, had to uh, had to show you. Uh, this is old, this is old. Now, a little bit disappointed uh, on it, but for one dollar, what was it, one dollar or two dollars? 50 cents, 50 cents it was. Uh, 1965 this is, there's writing in there. So, and it looks like another language, I'm not sure. Like they're trying to uh, crack some monster code. Uh, I don't know, hope they cracked the monster code, but uh, the monsters, I loved the monsters from when I was a kid. If you've never heard of the monsters, they're fucking awesome. 1965. Uh, this is the second time I have found one of these Ninja Turtle dolls, and uh, two bucks, why not? You're going straight in the basket. Thank you very much. This one's got a hole under its arm, unfortunately, but uh, we're taking him, we're taking him. And uh, 
he will go either on my shelf or he'll go for sale. Cleveland Indians. I uh, won't be surprised if they end up changing their uh, team name with all the team name changes that have been happening lately. But the Cleveland Indians, only a small size, uh, nice, very nice. I would have liked it for myself, but for $15, they can go suck a sack of balls because I'm not paying that for a small t-shirt especially. Uh, this electronic playground, $130, uh, it's a learning th uh, learning center. It looked weird. I, op I did open it up off camera and um, it was very complicated and weird. I kind of looked it up at comps and uh, I wasn't sure about this one and it was pretty big. Um, I think it was $20. I, I left it. I left it. I don't know. if you Would you have picked that up for $20? Uh, I definitely left that one. So back to the clothes here and um, you know, we always like to find a uh, piece of WWE history and there's Goldberg. Here comes Goldberg, the legendary Goldberg. And uh, everybody's next. Not just your next, everybody's next. Uh, this one will probably only go for about 20 bucks, but uh, we chucked it in the old basket anyway. Chucked it in the old basket. And um, going for the shirts, we did find a Kurt Angle shirt in here as well. So, Kurt Angle shirt. I think I paid uh, $2 each for those wrestling shirts. That's why I did get them, because I had... Um, Pretty sure it was 20% off, so uh, $3, there we go, $3. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 though for each of them. So that was a pretty damn good find, those two wrestling shirts. Too bad they don't fit me because I've got man boobs now. Uh, E.T., the extraterrestrial uh, scrapbook. This is a pretty good, pretty damn sweet uh, vintage book that we've got right there. Uh, I like this. Um, what year was this made? Uh, 1982, looks like 1982 this one came out. Uh, the book that went with the movie, one dollar each. Thank you very much, I'll put you in my basket. Uh, we got up here this beautiful old vintage Predator figure. Nice Predator figure. One dollar, we took this home, we took this home, no worries, and this went on the shelf. Uh, but I got a story for you about this afterwards uh, when we get back to the uh, the old um, headquarters. No back piece on there, but uh, not bad for one dollar. Like that original Predator from the original Predator movie. And uh, just before we leave, uh, Mother Goose is someone snapped Mother Goose's neck, I think. And you're a dirty pig. And uh, yeah, poor Mother Goose. So someone help Mother Goose. Her neck is broken, and there's a dirty pig. Let's get out of here. I got drenched, <laughs> outside I got drenched. As you saw, there was a lot of overpriced crap. That's why I don't like these stores in the city. But we did find some good stuff. I'm gonna take you back to VHS headquarters and I'm gonna show you everything that I scored. So let's go! Start off with the bread and butter items. We all like good bread and butter item. Uh, these VHS tapes, I got 10 of them at 50 cents a piece. 50 cents a piece and these uh, VHS tapes will easily sell for $10 each plus postage. Uh, look, I don't just pick up any VHS, I know what I'm looking for when I'm uh, finding them and uh, $10 for Alien Resurrection for instance is a good price when you pay 50 cents for. Uh, as for the t-shirts. Uh, the t-shirts were awesome. That kitty one was freaking sweet. Uh, Goldberg, WWE one, and uh, Kurt Angle, another WWE one. These ones were all, um, they were all $2.50 each. I love this kitty one. $2.50 each, I should be able to get 20 bucks each, maybe more. But you know what, we're only going to put 20 bucks in the kitty because we're not going to be greedy and we're not going to over-exaggerate what we can get. James Stewart DVD, uh, this is a Western collection, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six movies on it, six movies on it, and it's sealed, uh, it's sealed, happy with that, got that for 50 cents, should be able to get 20 bucks for that, 20 bucks, brand new. The 
The Adventures of Superman, the complete first season. This is the old black and white, crazy, crazy, crazy. I've never seen all this. Uh, why not? Might chuck it in and have a watch. 50 cents in the $20 every day of the week. Thank you very much. Happy with that picker. Love this. This is Denver, the last dinosaur. Um, this one should be able to get $30 to $40 for. Pick this up for 50 cents, this VHS. Uh, Denver the Dinosaur, not many of them around. Discontinued cartoon that's not on any platform. That's what you want to look out for. Uh, this one, yeah, definitely $30, $40, but we'll just chuck $30 in the kitty just in case we don't get the $40 that we're asking for. Love this beanie that I found for $3. NHL Predators, Nashville Predators. Very nice. Beanies go for about $30, $40, the NHL ones. So I am putting in the kitty $30 to $40. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get $40 bucks plus post for this. So uh, I will put $40 in the kitty. This was actually my second favorite find of the day. 16007 DVDs. They were a dollar each, but 12 of the 16 were sealed. So I'm going to try and lot all these bad boys up. And I should be able to get $70 with post, I think. So I spent 16, should be able to get $70 with post. Pretty happy with that. And someone's going to love it because guess what? There's a new James Bond movie coming out in a few months' time. So perfect timing. Remember, I'm not a full-time reseller, I'm a part-time reseller. I work full-time hours, so I only go out on the weekends just to go to one or two little thrift stores and see what I can get now, just to put up and get some pocket money, extra pocket money to pay the bills. So remember, I'm no expert, kind of do it for fun and to pay some bills. Got this UGI 1000 piece puzzle. Uh, this is pretty cool, pick this up for $3. Uh, $3, we should be able to turn this, one sealed as well, we should be able to turn this into 50 bucks. Uh, plus post. Uh, this Milton Bradley game, uh, Go For Broke. This is old school, this is 1993. I did see some uh, sold on comps for $200. Uh, but that was sealed. So then the best uh, after that was about you was looking at about 60 to 70 dollars. Uh, so I'm gonna put 60 bucks plus post in the kitty. Uh, this was a good find at four dollars as well. So um, the only thing is I haven't checked inside to see if all the pieces are in there, but people have been selling just the pieces of this game as well and they've been getting a little bit of cash. So I'll get my cash back anyway. So old Milton Bradley games always go really, really good. Happy with that pickup. Last but not least, we got Michelangelo, an old 1990s plush doll. I found this one for $2 and the dog wants it. Found this one for $2 and um, I can get at least about 60 bucks for this one. I've already sold one once before for $50, $60. What was it? $50 or $60? I can't remember. This one's got um, a little hole under its arm. So $50, $60. Bucks. That's my favorite pickup of the day. Very happy with that. few people ask for it and they want it they're gonna get it back so let's bring up the kitty oh kitty 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 you are back baby kitty we spent thirty dollars we spent thirty dollars we got a small amount of stuff kitty what are we going to get? What are we going to get? This is before fees, before taxes, before all that other mumbo jumbo bullshit. What are we going to get when it all sells kitty? Kitty! Ooh! 
$355 from one thrift, from one weekend thrift. I like it. First thrift back. You saw how much overpriced shit they had there, but I still got some good stuff anyway. Kitty, fuck off. Fuck off, kitty. Thanks heaps for joining me guys. If you really liked the content, or if you got this far at least, give a thumbs up. We've got the uh, ride along at the start. We've got the show and tell at the end. We've put it all into one. I'm back doing thrifting videos. I'm only a part-time thrifter, so there's only so much I can show you. But give a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks heaps, and I'll see you next time. Zoo!